Hi, my name is Fred Hutchison with PYI. Today we're going to determine how a two-blade propeller is set up, what pitch and rotation it's set to. The first thing to do is determine the rotation of the propeller. As I've shown in earlier videos, how to determine whether a propeller is set up to left or right-hand rotation. In this situation, I believe the propeller is set to a right-hand rotation. So put the blades in the feathered position, grab the trailing edge of the blades, and pull it to port. At that point, the straight leading edge will stop angled forward and to starboard, showing that it's a right-hand rotation propeller. At that point, bring the prop back to the feathered position with the seam between the two halves vertical. That way, as you take things apart, things won't fall apart on you. Take off five of the six screws. That's the first step. Don't take off all six. Take off five and give it a pause, because once you get the fifth one, the sixth one out, things can start falling apart on you if you're not careful. Once you start on the sixth one, you need to start holding things together so you make sure that it won't fall apart on you. Once you get the sixth bolt out, basically rotate the propeller so where your line is over vertical and this bottom half will come off in your hands. At that point, the Gravity is holding the, the other half on, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart on you. Then you rotate the shaft to determine where, where the letters are on the teeth of the blades. As you can see here, you've got letters on the teeth of the blades. And what we want to determine is what letter goes with what, which drill mark. Excuse me a sec while I rotate everything around. Right In this situation, the easiest way to do it is get a pen or a screwdriver and run down the, th the depths of the threat of the teeth to determine where a drill mark is. At this point, we've got a single drill mark right here, and it aligns with the letter D on one of the blades. So we've got the single drill mark is with D. Now we do have to determine what the double drill mark is. To do that, rotate the blades around. Make sure you hold it together as you do it. And again, holding that half on so things don't come apart on you. With grease and everything, you may have to run your, a pen down each of the, the depths of the teeth to determine where the, the dots are. In this situation, we've got a double dot here. Right here, I've got two dots, and it's going into the letter S. The letter S in the tooth is going into that setting so that we know it's set the double dot for Y is set to S. At that point, if you rotate the propeller back to the vertical position, if you grab the lower blade, pull off one of the halves, bring the blades away. At that point, now we need to determine what the Y setting is. Of course. So in this situation, what I always do is I start with K. Start with the letter K and draw a mark between the hub of the propeller and the cone gear. That way we have a reference point so that when we do pull it out, we can say, okay, this is the tooth that it goes back into. At that point, we need to flip the cone gear over. Sorry, this was not actually attached to the shaft. Flip the cone gear over and determine where the Y mark or the X mark is, this groove in the central cone gear. So we know where our mark is here. The tooth is one, two, three, four, five, whoops, actually one, two, two, th two steps away. So from K, we're going to N. So that, that groove is set into the letter N. So we know that the letter settings are X equals N, the single dot equals D, the double dot equals S, which is 22 degrees right-hand rotation. That way you know how to put it back together.